Welcome back, everyone. Happy Saturday. We are here now with our South Texas gardener, Gabriel Vega, who's here to talk to us about hydroponic gardening. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> what a way to wake up. Pretty cool contraption that you have here. A nice, pretty cool lamp. Yeah. And what purpose does it serve? Uh, well, this is a enclosed hydroponic system that's a real, um, it's one of the easiest systems that I have. And the reason I'm showing this off is to illustrate how many different plants you can grow in a smaller area. Yeah. How how less, how much less water you can use growing the same amount of plants. Cool. Um, this system right here has about one quart of water in it. It has a small oxygen pump that keeps the water moving so Take your plants are never that. sitting in still water. What um, I'm taking a look at here, guys, I know that uh, the camera can't oh. get that close, but uh, underneath is the root system here and you can see all, just a little bit of water, maybe about yeah. a cup to three-fourths of a cup. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that'll last about a week to two weeks. Wow. Um, you do add fertilizer to this. There is no waste, so you don't have any fertilizer washing out. Oh, yeah. And you're using about 10% of the amount of water that you would typically use to grow. And consider that Very this, this basil is about five and a half, uh, five weeks old. I've harvested this thing over eight times, and a plant this size would typically take a container about one gallon or two gallons in size, which is already a much larger container than this is. And here I got three different plants. Yeah, they're all sharing. Right, growing the same, yeah, yeah, sharing the same system. Um, hydroponics has been around for a long time. People think it's something new. It's actually been around since the Babylonian era. The wow. Hanging Gardens utilized hydroponic technique. Take a look at um, that. Even the Aztec uh, Indians of Mexico, they also had a raft technique where they would lash reeds and vines and float these on fresh bodies of water and take advantage of the nutrient solution, similar to what we see here. Wow, that's really um, cool. Well, I'm yeah. sure they didn't have this uh, type of technology, but nonetheless, the, the concept is very interesting. The principles. And this seems to be something that anyone can use? Well, that's just it. Hydroponic gardening is is gaining in popularity in urban cultures because of the amount of land that may not be available to them so they're going vertical with it they're going sustainable with this um, and that's what's leading to a lot more hydroponic facilities and, and gardening practices that you may see around town for something to have in my home about what is the price range how inexpensive can I go and how expensive can I well go? that's just it a lot of hydroponic gardeners will first use what materials they have around them we're simply just you know, uh, building a container that can catch water and then recirculate it back to the plant. Okay. Um, but a system like this will typically run anywhere from 60 to $70, depending on where you go. Um, of course, with several months of use. Uh, You're gonna get your money's worth. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And who doesn't love having fresh herbs in their home anyhow? So that's wonderful. Well, we wanna make sure that you don't forget about today's farmer's market. It's gonna be on the south side of town and it runs from nine o'clock until noon today at 5800 Everhart. And there's also so a downtown farmer's market every Wednesday at La, La Rotama Park. I can never say that right. <laughs> no one always gets me. Uh, but go and visit, Gabriel. Uh, you are right there on the south side. That's right. Uh, where the uh, market is going to be at. So people can come and check out your That's hydroponics. Right. If, if you, you have time, come by and see me. Very cool. All right. So I will be up next to take a look at your forecast. So stick around.